Normally I'm traveling around the world, but today I want to take you to my hometown of Princeton, New Jersey. I'm here with my buddy Penn. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Penn are going to be checking out Princeton. Well, I thought we were here to get food, so... Oh yeah, I did promise Penn <laughs> food, so... Hoagie Haven! You guys want Yeah. I've been coming here since like... I literally was like this really? big. So you want some application for you guys? Uh, yes, no. I just salt. I want some salt pepper. And I'm gonna take care of you, man. I've been a lot of places, but I gotta remember to bring my shirt with me. Well, my channel's called Robbie Backpacking, so I I'm Robbie. I'll check you out later on. Yeah. One place you have to go to, Hoagie Haven. Some of the most amazing sandwiches in the whole world. In fact, I can't even talk to you right now. I'm, I'm hungry. So these houses we're about to check out, these are the frat houses here in Princeton. They're called eating clubs. They have eating clubs. <laughs> these, these houses look like the White House, okay? These houses are ridiculous. Yeah, exactly. Like, <laughs> if I was a freshman, how do I get in these houses? You probably got a pledge, which means you probably have to join like the Skull and Bone Society or something. Like a motorcycle gang? It's like a frat house for like everyone that could be president or... Sweet. So not me. And you know your zodiac? Yes. What are you? Uh, horse. Horse. Let's find a horse. I'm a snake, because I'm 89. You're... So you're, you're 90, you right? Know who else was born in 89 and is a snake? Who? Taylor Swift. Hey, <laughs> Taylor Swift, if you're listening. You can have my heart any day. <laughs> Penn just face swapped me with one of the Zodiacs here. Can you see that? Alright, so dogs are pack animals and they will follow the leader or try to become the leader, which is why they always act like they're living to serve you. But they're actually just looking for their leader. But horses see you on the same level as them, and if they sense that you're scared of them, they'll look down on you. I don't know exactly where I'm getting my information from. I know it's like, it's pretty much true. <laughs> you can Google it. Wikipedia is solid. It's not, it's not Wikipedia. I, I learned from an animal first. <laughs> I learned from an animal. Okay. It was this animal right here. Hello, I'm Mr. Ed. A horse is a horse, of course, of course, and no one can talk to a horse, of course. That is, of course, unless the horse is dead. <laughs> Wait, is that how the rhyme goes? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of times when I bring my friends here to Princeton University, they tell me this place looks like Hogwarts. A lot of the buildings have been around for a couple hundred years, so it's not surprising. Hey, Robbie, this place looks a lot like Hogwarts. Yeah. Pretty magical, huh? <laughs> so this is where herbology classes are, take place. I'm here at the Princeton University Art Museum. I'm joined here with my new friend. Curtis Scott, I'm Associate Director for Publishing and Communication. Curtis is gonna be telling us a little bit about why uh, you might wanna stop by the Princeton University Art Museum. I like to call it sometimes the easiest way to get into Princeton. <laughs> it's, uh, there's a lot to see here. The museum is open to the public for free uh, year-round. On view, our collections are global in scope, from ancient world to contemporary art. About 5,000 years of, of cultures from around the world are covered. It's been here in this location since its inception. This isn't the original building, but uh, it was originally conceived to be a core part of the teaching institution, as it is to this day. A prime mission of the museum is to to teach students, faculty, and uh, visitors from around the world. So we're gonna check out this church down here, um, right on the campus of Princeton University. Very famous church, famous for its stained glass windows. What's so great about the stained glass <laughs> windows? You can't just say it's famous for that. What's different about their windows that my, my house does not have? When you look at them, it pierces your soul in a way that you never knew humanly that possible. That sounds very unsafe. Does the fire marshal know about? <laughs> when the sun is setting, it like kind of covers the whole venue in like rainbows. Even better than the double rainbow. It's like a triple rainbow. But hey, Robbie, I need coffee. <laughs> but we're gonna go check out um, this, <laughs> this arch. So this is my favorite archway in Princeton. And there's this beautiful view that drops off. This is where a lot of the campus housing is. 
Penn's freaking out because he just <laughs> found out. Uh, there's a place called Triumph here in Princeton and they brew all their own beers. Uh, they change seasonally, so that's pretty cool. So if you come here in the winter, you'll see a lot of IPAs. But there's two other bars that I really recommend as well. Uh, one is called the Ivy Inn. It's a great place on Friday, Saturday night to check out. The other is Alchemist Barrister. You'll hear it called here locally A and B. Ton of beers on tap. If you come to Princeton, one thing you gotta get is some good beer. I'm in Palmer Square because probably said there's beer here, but all we found was this kid. It's true. No beer. He's been here for years. I keep trying to talk to him. He's really he just doesn't talk to anybody. So. And I'm just trying to find beer. So. Oh, you want beer? Yeah. I got beer. Actually, I'm also looking for for coffee, but. Okay, we gotta grab some coffee because uh, we need to fuel up here. Just got uh, some mamoon, some great Middle Eastern food. Very hot. Yeah, so hot sauce at mamoon's. Some of the hottest I, I've ever had in my entire life. Be careful, couple of drops, and you will be, your eyes will be tearing up. Pen, I'm warning you, man. That stuff is powerful. Yeah, that was tiny, but that was. A... It sneaks up on you too, man, I'm telling you. But it's kind of good if you have like sinus issues <laughs> like I'm gonna have now. By the end of this meal, you'll be able to breathe again. Yeah, I'll be a new man. I was gonna grow beard. <laughs> it's hot, but it's good. Okay, it's cool. good. Me and Penn feel like being hipsters, so we're gonna uh, go check out some music. Right, Penn? Sure. Let's go do that. <laughs> Princeton is famous for the Princeton Record Exchange. You know, with the rise of online shopping, not a whole lot of uh, record shops left. So uh, let's check it out. Prince Record Exchange. Okay, so we are hey, going to check out. Mia. Huh? Can we get beer now? One of the great places to grab beer in Princeton is the Alchemist and Barrister, the A and B. Just got myself a shock top, so it's time to uh, take, take a little break. Give me a break, all right? Wait, you actually, you want to check if we're in focus for it? Yeah, that's true. Uh, yeah, you're not. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Valley, thanks for a great day in Princeton. Thanks for showing me around. Thank you to Penn for uh, helping me record this video. It's been a lot of fun. Um, if you're in the New Jersey area, Make sure to stop by Princeton. It's definitely one of the uh, major historical sites in New Jersey. Small town, but lots to do. Uh, a lot of good food, a lot of good drinks, and a lot of good history. So check it out if you're in the area. Small town, big dreams. <laughs>